Hey there, and welcome to another video in my van build series. In this video, I'm gonna talk about my platform bed, um, how it came together, why I chose this design, and what I'm gonna use it all for, all the space I'm getting um, in the future once the build uh, gets finished out. So you'll see all that come together, but I'll tell you about it here. Um, so stick around. Uh, first, you're gonna see how it all came together through the time-lapse videos and my descriptions. And then if you stick around to the end, I'll give you a little bit more detail of, of what and why about the bed and uh, more of the details of uh, uh, that are hard to see and, and explain through just the time lapses of, of the build coming together. So thanks for checking it out and stick around to, to find out and watch out how this came together. In the first part of this video, you're seeing what I did to prepare the top platform for my bed build. I had to cut the top two plywood sheets to match the length and width for my bed. I went with a custom mattress size, the equivalent to a full XL, that I had to cut to width myself starting from a queen size mattress. I used Danish oil to give the wood a light stain as well as protect the wood from the elements. Here I'm installing the garage walls that I'll talk about more later in this video. What you see behind the walls is the main legs for the bed, which are thicker than the rest of my furring strips for the build. The walls have to go up in my garage before I install the slats for the bed. I'll talk in more detail about how the walls for the van came together in another one of my videos. After the walls, it was time to install the slats and the platform. I trimmed the narrower platform piece down to width during install so that I could much better match the platform to the curvature of the van. Once I installed the window wall, which I'll talk about in another of my build videos, I was able to finish securing the platform to the frame. All that was left was to bring in the mattress to be able to take the van out on a test trip. So as you've seen this platform bed and what I'll call my garage come together in the videos, um, I want to tell you a little bit about why I chose this design. So first off, I do a lot of different activities. I cycle, I run, um, you know, I pretend to swim. So I do triathlon sometimes. Um, I'm going to do a lot of climbing. I do a lot of hiking, camping. It just, there's a lot of things I do and that I like to do. And so that stuff, well, it all needs gear. That gear takes up space. So I wanted a build that was going to maximize the amount of storage space I had. Uh, and be able to fit all my ad adventure gear um, without necessarily creating extra hassle um, while I'm living with the van. And part of this was, you know, let's, uh, let's take my bike for example. I could of course take, put a rack on the outside and live with the rack, with my bike uh, on the outside rack. Well, a couple of things I didn't like about that. I'm a little bit finicky about all the road dust getting on my bike when I'm driving. So that's number one. And number two is it makes my build a little bit less uh, inconspicuous, right? I'm gonna stick out a little bit more on my bikes on the outside. So it just gives me another thing to worry about, whether it's the elements, um, doing things to, to my drivetrain and everything else that uh, just gives me more more reasons to wash and everything else that, that's gonna go on. It's just, it's a hassle. I don't do it now as it is. If I can drive in my car with my bike on the inside, I do it. Um, I use my rack only when, when I need to. Um, and then the other thing is just safety, security, where I'm parked or whether it's overnight or I'm just going on a short hike and leaving my bike on the outside is just extra extra risk. And you know, I, I don't wanna have to think about where my bike is at all times because it's it's uh, it's you know it's a piece of me at this point. You know, I've got I've got tattoos on my bike. It's I love cycling and, and I wanna take care of my bike. So my bike's gonna live here on the inside. Um, I'm gonna have a slide out tray that's gonna be able to fit two bikes on it. Um, it'll be waterproofed. It's gonna be able to handle a bunch of load. It's gonna slide out, slide out like five feet. So I'll be able to just side load my bikes. It's gonna be great, super easy to use. Um, you'll see that in some, some later videos. Um, some of the other stuff I'm gonna have under here, I'm gonna have some snow sports storage here, um, probably hanging above the, uh, the water tank. I'll be able to fit uh, a few snowboards, a few pairs of skis. You know, myself right now only have one pair of skis, um, but maybe I'll get more, who knows? But also if friends wanna come and, and visit with me um, while I'm, moving around in the van and want to do some some winter activities with me i'll have the space so um, i'll be able to fit a couple snowboards a couple pairs of skis um, i'll try to make sure that my boots can fit in there so i'm taking up less space uh, elsewhere um, again just maximizing the overall space i have in in this area here um, over here um, and what you'll see in, in in one of my upcoming videos i'll have um, my mppt 
um, solar inverter charger, um, and my battery pack, um, and a few other things for my electrical system. So that's gonna take up a little bit of space in my garage. Um, and then ideally I'll have some other type of storage rack, storage tray, and then right behind me, I'll have my uh, over, the, over the wheel well water tank. So I'm gonna have a lot of things back in this garage, a lot of storage, uh, a lot of adventure gear, I'll call it with me. Um, I just wanted to maximize that space. So permanently lofting my bed lets me do that. Um, and, and ultimately, you know, I, I got the, the high roof extended floor transit van because it gave me the most room to both go vertically and um, along the length of the van for that storage reason. Um, I, uh, I actually slept a couple nights um, on this lofted bed already. Um, and I'll tell you, I was worried about the, the, over, the room above my head, above the mattress, but um, you know, the roof's not finished yet, but even still, I felt like it was an ample amount of room and it'll be pretty comfy over the long term. So let me tell you more about the specifics of the bed itself. So I've built a couple platform beds before for my house. Um, really simple designs, um, some legs, some slats, a frame, and then plywood sheet on top. Super simple, so one to follow a similar concept, but with the van, I wasn't so sure where to start. So I actually got some inspiration from the couple over at Far Out Ride. They've been sleeping in their uh, on their bed in their van full time since 2016, maybe. I don't know. It's been a long time, and I, I love uh, pulling some inspiration from their design. So um, similarly, um, I've got a platform bed that looks feels really similar to what I built inside, just you know a little bit different and modified to the van. So the main build on the sides, and what's tough to see here, but what you see in in the video. Um, is that there are four furring strips and let's call them legs that are a little bit thicker than the rest of my furring strips that are uh, that you see here that again i'll explain in another video um but the four main legs three quarter inch birch plywood um i see I, I sealed them with paint um attached them to the van using uh rib nuts um so they're attached to the metal they're sitting on the ground they're solid on top of that is these four main slats and these slats are also three quarter inch thick uh, for the main slat, four inches wide, four inches wide this way. And then I also did inch and a half uh, tall um, edging strips on each end of these slats to give a little bit more flexural rigidity to these boards. Now, I think if I would have gone a little bit thicker, it would have added even a little bit more stability, but um, I felt pretty comfortable with this being able to take the load, especially when the plywood is gonna be distributing the load across all the beams and across the plywood a little bit as well. And then the mattress is gonna help distribute it evenly as well. It is a foam mattress and all that weight distribution together, uh, I felt pretty comfortable knowing that these were gonna hold up under me. And especially since I'm gonna be biased towards one side of the bed, I'm not gonna be right in the middle. I mean, there's times where there will be weight right in the middle, um, but a lot of my bias will be towards the side too. So I feel pretty comfortable. Um, with this design and I did actually test this out like I think I mentioned with for a few nights um, Finished off the bed this slat that is currently uh, moved over to the side um, It's just so I could demonstrate for you, um, but I had the 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 full Full platform assembled the mattress down slept it in a couple nights and it held up awesome One of the things I was worried about was the headroom from the top of the mattress to the to the roof Um Actually, you know, it turned out really well. I think I may have mentioned it. It's the main, one of the main reasons I got the high, uh, the high roof for transit. Um, I was able to really go f go ahead with this design. I know I'm gonna lose a little bit of bit of space. I think I'm gonna end up being uh, around an inch, maybe a little bit less off the top of, uh, of these structural beams um, down. So I, I'm gonna lose just a little bit of headroom, but I think it's gonna come together really well um, and, and still be super comfortable. Cause I was, I was super comfortable in this setup. Um, for a few nights. Um, so again, the build of four main slats, half inch uh, thick plywood on top, both the slats and the plywood. Uh, I sealed, finished, stained, um, and protected with you know all those things together with uh, light walnut finished Danish oil. Um, so the boards um, are all water resistant. They're going to hold up against some warping. They're just going to stay looking nice for a long time. Um, the one thing after testing it for a few nights that, that I realized that I think I'm going to add at the front of the bed and um, when getting on the bed, I know I'm going to have a little bit better of a setup to climb in, but on the front of the bed, there's just a little too much flex for my taste. So I think I'm going to add one more, uh, one more slat across, um, just at the end, just to protect the ends a little bit better. Um, but other than that, once I climb onto the bed, the weight distributes really well. It holds up really well. 
Um, one of the things, again, about this design, on the bed is gonna be biased to this side. Um, I kinda did a custom mattress. Um, think of it as a full XL. Um, it's a full in width, so 54 inches wide, and a queen in length, so 80 inches long. I'm not that tall, but I wanted the extra length. And it's just more comfy. I've been sleeping on a queen mattress for years. I like the extra length. So went with the custom size, uh, but on this end, so basically once the slats installed, on this end, next to the mattress, is going to be a huge amount of, we call it a storage rack, call it shelving. That shelving is gonna be basically where I store all of my clothes. Um, I tested that amount of storage space just by lining out some tape and using some storage crates in my house. And I was able to fit pretty much everything I expect to take with me from a clothes uh, perspective um, in that space. So my storage rack's gonna be here. My bed's gonna be here. The bed does come up a little bit above the window. Um, and, you know, not what I expected when I was first building everything. You know, I, I think um, I'm ultimately still very happy with how it turned out. I'm still gonna have the little bit of breeze. Having the window in the back would give just a little bit more light. Um, very happy with how it turned out. Um, but let me turn the camera a little bit and show you more and explain kind of what that looks like. So the bed does come up part of the way up the window, almost halfway. The window's about 11 inches tall uh, and the bed is five inches thick. So the bed covers all the pocket holes that are holding in the base of this wall in that direction. Um, and, and again, it does cover a part of the window, but what it does is it gives me a little shelf and based on the way I cut this all out, it gives me a little shelf where I can put my phone, Kindle, whatever at night. I don't have to worry about where that goes. Um, and then um, ultimately, I still get a breeze, um, but I don't feel like it's going to hit me direct. It doesn't hit me directly. I slept next to the window for a couple nights. It was really, I, it, was, it was pleasant. It was perfect. Um, a little bit wonky, but there's really not a whole lot I could have done um, in a clean way. I could have maybe moved the window up an inch or two, but mm, would have been, would have been tough. Um, and ultimately, that wouldn't have made as much of a difference. Um, so I like where it's at. I like how this came together. Um, I'll talk a little bit about how this wall um, for the window came together when I'm talking about the rest of my walls. But it definitely took a lot of work to get this cut out right. But, you know, there's a couple rough edges, but ultimately I think it came together really well. Um, this wall may not stay white, might change colors, but for now white was a clean color. It's going to give it a lot of look. Uh, it's going to, it feels pretty big back here um, with the white and the way it opens up the room. Um, and then this wall is secured into... Um, the, the side walls of the van using the furring strips that you saw behind me in the last part of the video. Again, I'll talk about those a little bit more when I'm talking in details about how my wall went up. Um, but again, this is my build. The van sits here. I've got the window next to the to the bed for, for some light, for um, some airflow. Um, I like a little bit of airflow when I'm sleeping. Not a lot, just a little bit. And, and I slept for a few nights and it, it was perfect. One of the things I really like about this window too is that it's an awning window, which means even if it's raining, I can have the window open um, and I'll be, I'll be cozy um, regardless of the conditions that are going on outside. So that's a little bit more about uh, what and why of my van build, of my bed build. Thanks for tuning in to another video in my van build series. All the links you're gonna be interested in are in the description, so check those out. Please be sure to like and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos of my build coming soon.